You absolutely have to see this interview from last night with California, uh, potential California gubernatorial candidate Caitlyn Jenner, of course, of the Kardashians fame, former Olympian uh, as Bruce Jenner earlier in life. Now, Caitlyn Jenner worth one hundred million dollars personally by most reports. And that becomes very relevant during the interview. The current California governor is Democrat Gavin Newsom. There's an uh, effort to recall Gavin Newsom in order to do this. Californians need to collect just shy of one point five million signatures to have a recall. It appears they've done it. They've collected one point six million, but those signatures now have to be validated. Uh, signers also have 30 days to say, actually, I signed it, but I don't want to be on the list anymore. So at some point relatively soon, we will see will the recall be happening now? If indeed it happens, Caitlyn Jenner has announced uh, that she is running. Caitlyn Jenner is notable because she is a trans woman and a Republican, although how much she knows about politics is in question. And you will notice that in this interview. Of course, the Republican Party hasn't been very good to the trans community. Many have been outright hostile to the trans community in many ways, including on the bathroom issue for years now. So Jenner was interviewed last night by Sean Hannity and the combination of completely unrelatable comments about private jets with Sean Hannity uh, and Hannity just looking so uncomfortable with the interview makes this one of the most compelling political interviews in a long time. I was watching these clips over and over again last night, like the Zapruder film preparing for today. So let's jump right in. In this first clip, Caitlyn Jenner tells us, listen, we've got to solve these problems in California because you know what? My neighbor at my hangar where I keep my private plane, he's thinking of leaving and I'm thinking of leaving if we don't improve things. Think of the private plane owners. This you have to see. California. My friends are leaving California. I actually worked my hangar. The guy across right over from me, he was packing up his hangar. I said, where are you going? And he says, I'm moving to uh, Sedona, Arizona. I can't take it here anymore. I can't walk down the streets and see the homeless. I don't want to leave. Okay. Either I stay and fight or I get out of here. Why is no one talking about the marginalized, oppressed, private plane owners thinking of leaving? This is how bad it is in California, guys. The private plane owners, they are having to see homeless people on the way to their hangar. And that, that is just terrible. Uh, the private plane owners are this close to packing up their private jets and flying somewhere else. And Caitlyn Jenner is going to keep them in California if elected governor. OK, so off to a blazing fast start, as you can see. And this is nothing. It gets even worse now. Of course, Caitlyn Jenner was asked by Hannity about transgender girls in sports. Republicans know almost nothing about the trans community, but the two things they know about and care about are trans bathroom laws and trans girls in sports. Those are the two trans issues for Republicans. Caitlyn Jenner's answer is a complete mystery to me. I've watched this three times. I'm going to watch it now a fourth time with you. I can't make heads or tails out of this answer. Take a look. Um, I stick with my statements that I made. Um, I think um, uh, we have to make sure that the integrity of girls' sports is there. I think that's extremely important. Um, but it's uh, there's more to it than just what I said, because I just said biological boys in sports. There's more to it than that. And I, I think in the future I will explain more of that. But for me, as a uh, a trans woman, um, I think role models are extremely important for young people. Trans issues people struggle with big time. Our suicide rate is nine times higher than the general public. And um, for me to be a role model for them, uh, to be out there, I am running for governor of the state of California. Who would have ever thought that? We've never even had a woman uh, governor. But some are mad at you. Uh, that's, uh, that's uh, I don't, you know, I, I move on. I want to be a role model and I think the, and to be a leader. And I think the most important thing as a leader that you can do is your compassion, your honesty. Um, and I think that sometimes is very lacking in politics. So uh, I want to be an example 
uh, to all people, not just trans people. Why but the, this is what why you on can the do. sports side of it, though? Why don't I what? Why did you, where, how you came down on the sports side of the issue? Uh, I don't know why, to be honest with you. I don't know why they keep asking that. What yeah. do you think, Sean? I don't know. Why, why do they keep asking me uh, that question? Uh, uh, great question. <laughs> it is a good question. So what on earth is her position on the issue of trans girls in sports? <laughs> Imagine being a Republican and thinking this is great. A trans candidate. Finally, we are going to get clarity. What is Caitlyn Jenner's position on trans girls in sports? What would Caitlyn Jenner do as governor about trans girls in sports? And then you hear that and you come out even more confused. And then this is just straight out of a comedy show. Sean Hannity asks Caitlyn Jenner's position on forest fires. And this is I mean, you know, uh, what on earth would Caitlyn Jenner know about that issue? But it's a big issue in California. If you're going to run for governor of California, you need an answer to this because forest fires really are an issue. And her answer is almost verbatim a Trump answer about, oh, you've got to do forest management. And would you allow controlled burns? Isn't there a science yes. behind forestry? Is that science being ignored in this state? Yes. Because when I watch it, it breaks my heart. I lived in Santa Barbara. I watched Hope Ranch, Hope Ranch burn down after I had just left the state. Yes. Um, uh, yes. Forest management is extremely important. Yeah. It, just like at my house, and, and it's not even forest management at my house. The reason my house made it, because they say you have to keep any brush 50 or 75 feet. I think I had 75 feet clearance. When the fires came, they just went around my house so fast it was gone because it's moving very fast. So it's almost the same thing for forest management, just a little bit of preparation. So there it is. I mean, guys, just just do the forest management and everything will be fine. Why this is so why do we keep talking about this? Just manage the forest and that's it. And if you thought that was Trumpian in this next clip, Caitlyn Jenner takes credit for Governor Gavin Newsom loosening covid restrictions, which is completely out of the Trump playbook. Take credit for things that have nothing to do with you. And the really funny thing is Jenner says, you know, if I were governor, I'd open the state tomorrow. If the recall happens, it's months away. California's opening in five weeks. <laughs> so uh, the the Caitlyn Jenner would open the state tomorrow, except the recall is months away and California will be open by then. Take a look. Would you open the state of California completely tomorrow? Absolutely. Open it right up. Actually, you know what? It's <laughs> just don't Sean, close in and out Burger, Sean, before I leave. It's yeah. even on a small scale kind of working already. Mm. About three weeks ago, uh, it was rumored, and rightfully so, it was rumored that I was looking into run for governor. The next day, <laughs> Gavin Newsom has a press conference that says the state is opening up July 15th. I'm laying there in bed and watching this, and I'm saying, yes, it's already working. So there it is, Caitlyn Jenner may be responsible for covid restrictions loosening in July, all bizarre. And then Hannity asks Jenner for an assessment of Trump, Biden and Harris. When this happened, I you know, I got the popcorn and got got ready. And her explanation about why Trump good, Biden bad. It's the exact meaningless, vapid drivel we hear from Trumpists. Take a look at this. We've had four years of Donald Trump. We have Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Give me your assessment of those three people. Um, what I liked about Donald Trump is he was a disruptor. You know, he came in and shook the system up. OK, a lot of people didn't like that in Washington, D.C., but he came in and shook the system up. I think he did some things that I agreed with, some things I didn't agree with. I, I, you were critical on transgender issues. On trans issues, LGBT issues, I was more hopeful at the beginning. Um, and, but there were some good things he did. Uh, on the other hand, Biden, I don't think I've agreed with anything. I don't think since he's been in there, he has um, done anything for the American worker, maybe other ones. So um, it is a. It is a 180 degree turn in our country uh, going the other direction. And, and uh, it scares me. It's almost verbatim what we've heard for, for a long time. Trump was different. He shook things up. 
He wasn't a politician. It was a new direction. It's just meaningless, vapid dribble once again. And then maybe my favorite clip of the entire interview. This is the wrap up. Hannity thanks Caitlyn Jenner for doing the interview. And Jenner brings up the pli private plane again and says, let's go for a flight. And Hannity just looks visibly uncomfortable. Caitlyn Jenner, thank you for being with us. It was my pleasure. Always a pleasure to okay. talk to you. Good Sean. to talk to you. Good to see you again. Now we're going to go find my plane around the corner. I'm going to take you for a flight. I'm going right. Wheels up any minute. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, we do wish you nothing but the best. We're going to follow this race closely. So there it is. Just a strange interview. Trumpian in many ways, completely lacking in substance, completely absent was any serious policy discussion. And I watched this entire thing. I don't know why Caitlyn Jenner is running for governor. It's not clear to me what Caitlyn Jenner brings to the table as a gubernatorial candidate. But seeing Republicans uh, on the one hand, they want to remove Gavin Newsom. But at the same time, uh, many of them dislike trans people as much as they dislike Gavin Newsom. And now they've got a transgender Republican candidate, I guess, running if the, if the recall ends up happening. They're in a tizzy. They don't know up is down, down is up. It's bizarro world for them. So we're going to follow the California situation. Very interesting to see. And one of the most unusual interviews I've ever seen. We'll have clips of it on our Instagram page as well. Follow us there at David Pakman show. One of our sponsors is Curiosity Stream, letting my audience try it free for an entire month. I love Curiosity Stream. Perfect for people like me or anybody who watches the David Pakman show. Curiosity Stream is kind of like Netflix for documentaries. It's a streaming service with thousands of documentaries from some of the best filmmakers. Many are exclusive to Curiosity Stream, including documentaries on politics, science, history, everything. The Curiosity Stream app is great. I use it on my TV phone and iPad. I just watched, as I told you, uh, very recently engineering the future. Very, very interesting about potential future technologies. And they always have the newest and most popular documentaries. They have amazing ones that I can't find on other platforms. And Curiosity Stream is just two ninety nine a month or nineteen ninety nine for a whole year. But you can try it totally free for one month. When you go to curiositystream.com slash Pacman and use the promo code Pacman.